Hey, what's happening, everybody? Peace of East back at you with another episode of the Minecraft City World Series. I'm back again with Jack Villas, and we're Hi. here to present you our camping village. Yeah, that's right, guys. We're adding a little uh, vacation spot to the City World right next to the lighthouse. And it makes sense to put it next to the lighthouse because this lighthouse is an attraction. Uh, so, you know, maybe making a campsite near it will be awesome. And, of course, it's near Nautical Mile, and uh, don't worry about that building over there. We'll get into that another time. You can pause the frame if you want to see that building with the heart. I think a lot of you might imagine what that's going to be, but uh, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, Jack, you want to show uh, what's been happening with the Stinky family since we last yeah, met them? So, so, apparently, when they were in Bikini Bottom... Uh, just chillin'. Uh, Mr. Stink decided to get with, uh, Biggie Stinky, which is now renamed Mrs. Stink, to have a child which is in the spread tent named Mr. Stink II. And you would see that, uh, Mr. Stink II is deciding to cut me out. Hey, fuck you, schnitz! And as you can see, guys, yeah, Jack made a little nice spot for the Stinky family, but there's much more to show you. Not just the pool, but we also made a lot of different campers here. Uh, of course, we're going to be building the road in this episode that will go around. We got a few campers in the back as well. Uh, but right now, I want to show you the pool, which I did, which I'm really proud of. So, uh, really? yeah, yeah, we did it. Uh, of course, I did the uh, outside structure, I meant. But, uh, and also laying it out and everything. But yeah, we got this gate here, and as you can see, we got lounges. And what I did was, yeah, we got the soul sand that makes it look like a heated pool, which was a design I saw from my friend Tyler, by the way, who is an OG member of the City World Series, and who will be coming back soon, by the way, to work on that building that you saw in the frame uh, when I first showed it to you guys. But I'm not going to say what it is. Jack knows what it is too, but I'm not going to say what it is because I want it to be a somewhat of a surprise. But yeah, we got a nice pool here, you know. You know, most campgrounds have pools that, you know. And of course then we have a playground over here, which is, um, we kind of took assets from the park of the original uh, park uh, in the city over there. Down, like, you know, in, you know, where New Heart City is. And remember that park pl playground that we did? So, yeah, there's a little uh, playground that has, you know, all the essentials. And then here's a basketball court. So, if anybody is down for a game of basketball, you know, why not? And then, of course, we got more campers over here. I did this one. Oh, wow, we got a pig family over here. <laughs> got a... We got a we got a mom and a, a brother and sister, oh, and then yeah. here is two campers that Jack did. So this is one, and then this like one is really 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 cool because he added the American flags on the sides of it as a as a way to go like above and beyond. So it really really really, really looks really I'm nice. So. American now, <laughs> Scotland. <laughs> So anyways, guys, that's um, that's what we did so far. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be building the road, and we're just going to be adding uh, extra details to this. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. So, I guess we'll uh, go to the road here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around, and we're going to make it come all the way to the other three campers. Over yonder. And uh, we'll also add little tent campsites like we did with the Stinkies. We'll add a little bit of more of those. So, uh, yeah, guys. Don't even ask what that noise was. I um, Was that Peter the Fly? <laughs> no, that was, um, no, that was if a, uh, car had a very small supercharger. Oof. 
So we're talking just like as soon as they as soon as you got up to speed, next thing you just hear is Okay, bye. <laughs> So let me put my, uh, yeah, as you can see, guys, this is where we're building it. Ignore the green indicator, because that's from the space, uh, not the space station, the the base that we did back in episode 7. I know. We're trying to make episodes quickly, guys, because, you know, we want to keep making episodes consistently. Um... And, uh, yeah, we want to reach our end goal for this season and possibly for the series because, uh, right now there's no talks of anything further than season two. And I don't think any of us really want to go any further than season two, uh, because, you know, we want to start having fun in this world. We want to put this world for downloads so you guys can play in it and, yeah, and we want to get up to that. But right now, the main goal of Season 2 is to just add locations around the map. And, you know, that way it's not just skyscrapers. It's a world with much, much, much to offer. So, that's what we're working as a team. You know, I'm trying to get as many people involved in the series as I can. Uh, but, yeah, we're, we're getting by. And things have been coming out great. The ice hockey rink was pretty fun. We, me and Dominic <laughs> brought our Islanders Rangers dispute into the series. So that was pretty funny. I love some cheese whiz right now. You know, what sounds pretty good late at night right now is a bunch of cheese whiz. You know, just grab it. That's Thor's favorite you. snack. <laughs> ah, or should I say, or should I say melted ice cream, Thor? I mean, well, yeah, melted. I mean, in my opinion, melted ice cream is actually more convenient to eat or should I say drink. Hell no, nah. melted ice cream is disgusting. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta get a toaster real quick. Because I use the toast to toast the toast. What he said. Yeah, we're gonna have a road that pretty much leads into here. And then, you know, once when you get your registration. By the way, guys, this is a registration building. It has no interior yet, like always. But, uh, you know. Everything's a work in progress, you know, but right now we want to build the different locations then We can always go back and do the interiors because I know Persona Chungus shout out to him loves doing the interiors Okay, so wait, how big is this? This is three wide So All right yeah. All right, how are we gonna make this turn? I mean, I mean, we if we make it just three wide, I guess, like like this, and then just go one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, that's how you make the turn. And then all we got to do is just build straight up to the next three campers. Or maybe go yeah, around uh, the three the three campers since the campers you built is facing the opposite way. I mean, yeah, that is true. I mean, we if we want to, we can always I can always build the road going from there. I like like transition to gravel and then go here. But then again, I don't want to cut through swamp and Lots and lots of dirt and stuff, so that idea might be uh, changed later. Who knows? Again, I'm weird with my stuff, so. Yeah. That's one of the most random facts about me. 
There could be a, you know, there could be a segment in all your videos, Peter, where it's just me going on about something stupid. Well, if there weren't already, <laughs> no offense. Hey, <laughs> I take high offense to that, you know. Well, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. At least I'm not a liar. Yeah, that is true. I feel bad for these chickens, they're just watching your home get destroyed. Well, according to my calculations, they will have a new home that will be untampered with. But of course, us humans need to make homes too. We need to build a civilization. We need to build everything. We need to make this feel like a world and not just a bland, uh, prehistoric nothingness, you know? Yeah. We gotta make this feel somewhat modern. Hmm. If the wooden homes are facing the opposite direction, it's gonna be difficult to do. Hang on. I would say the ones that are standing on the opposite uh, section. Like, we should just build another curve, and then another curve again, back around, and then... I don't know. It's just me. Then that, then that would just take forever. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess we can go with that option where it loops around to the, um... Weird-looking building over there, but other than that... It's the other idea I can think of. Other than building a, uh... Railroad, which... Railroad. I tried doing that on mobile once on my free time during my, my summer program at college when I had free time and that took forever. This is where I usually turn down my mic right now. I understand. Well, many members of the city world had uh, background uh, voices. I mean, but then again, my background is. My, then again, my backgrounds are pretty funny sometimes. Like, sometimes you get singing, sometimes you just get, like, Facts. movie debates and stuff. But. But this is just takes the cake. I mean, this is actually fairly serious. So if you guys are hearing this, I deeply apologize. Yeah. One of the members, I know it's not his fault for it, but his mom basically did like um, like a dancing seminar thing at his house in the basement while he was playing during an episode. So the music got caught on because like back then I didn't edit the videos. I just like live streamed it. So the music got into the video and I got copyrighted for it. I, mean, I like how we, I like what we did with this turn, but like the first turn heading to the uh, like the first turn heading towards the uh, registration center, it just looks like a very very weird looking worm, and then just like head on over here, it looks actually fairly normal. <laughs> And then, yeah, let's just add one of these, make it look more, to make it look better instead of having like a weird looking turn. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. One. And one. Boom. I like what I'm doing with the concrete powder, is just making it look like it's part of the gravel. Alright, and then. And then I use diorite slabs to make it go up because it looks like oh. gravel, but with like a lighter shade. Then, yeah, and of course, it's, it's, it's better to ahead. just like build over it rather than mine through it. Yeah, but no, when I'm usually heading a uh, up a hill with uh, the concrete powder, I usually put a quartz slab and then the concrete powder, or in some cases like that, but. 
Yeah, if we take a look. He's not still recording. Um, but if we come back over here, I use diorite and, uh, I use polished diorite and, um, quartz. And so, if it's like going up, like two, then we have to mine that one layer, then build, then mine, so on. I mean, the only time we ever mine stuff is when it's like for the. Yeah, for the stuff. stuff like the city. Yeah, I mean, I'm technically like the building advisor. Or like I agree with the what my friends told me to do back then. Was like to just build over the land rather than making it all flat. I remember in episode 6 I got criticized for that by one of my team members. Now, in some rare cases, it, uh, in some rare cases, if the full block. Just mine that block, place that place that there, then uh put the port. I mean I have to admit this is coming out uh well uh better than I expected. Well, up until this a uh, very weird looking side angle motorhome I built. Hey, or, it's uh, one of a kind. Okay, if anybody's got a problem with this camper, how about you get a life? <laughs> oh great. Uh, then... And, uh... And I think maybe if we, like, approach a lake... Or, like, if we go around and connect it again... Uh, we should probably build, like, a... I can probably attempt to build a bridge. Bridge or two, maybe even a tunnel if I wanted to. But... That's up to you. Wow, what, what, what were you talking about? Uh, for like connecting uh, the gravel road to the main road over by that funny looking building. Which funny looking building? The lighthouse or the, 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 the register? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, guys, I, I might announce what we're doing. Basically, me and Tyler will be doing a Strip club in our <laughs> Minecraft city world because yeah, as you guys monetization. Well, uh, people actually have done strip club videos on Minecraft before. It's just the only thing that it lacks is the ladies. But guys, we're not doing it to be like you know offensive or anything. It's just a joke. It's just something funny that we're doing. Uh, if you guys don't know, in episode six, Tyler tried building a very bad version of a strip club in the city before. We even began building skyscrapers, so like that got taken down. So I figured, you know, t since Tyler wants to come back, this is his idea. You know, let's go make it happen. Cause we've been, I've been taking feedback from everybody, Jack, Dom, Damien, and some of their ideas ended up being great episodes. Like you know, uh, Jack's was the base and the drag strip, and Damien's was the tomato temple, and Dominic was obviously the ice hockey rink. So. You know, we were able to make some pretty good content. So I'm hoping that the strip club gets relatively good feedback. But, uh, we're not, uh, you know, doing it for offensive reasons. Just to clear the exactly. air. We're just doing this for the shipping giggles. Yep. But I'm sorry, we're doing this for the gicks, uh, we're doing this for the gicks and uh, shizzles. <laughs> There we go. Ah, uh, getting there. About time too. Then we'll just like add a few tents around the campsite, and then, uh, you know, some fire pits, and uh. I think I'm in. I think I'm gonna build like a uh, research station uh, uh, on the uh, on this mountain over here. Oh uh, yeah, that the mountain. Tree on the top. Like an observatory, you know, with the microscope. Exactly, that's what. Exactly, yeah. I see where you're going with that. But um, chances are people won't watch that. But I'm guessing people, a lot of people watch the drag strip, which they 
probably really love, but then if we go from like the drag strip back to like something space themed, just eh, I don't like that guy anymore. Just like I know. I'll tell I, you this: I, I, there, there is true fans that will support every Minecraft City World episode. So, yeah. Like, there's a, uh, one fan of this series named Morgan. Shout out to him. He's primarily the reason why I brought him back. Because, you know, he really loved this series. So, like, you know, because of that and because, you know, so many other people wanted the series back, I decided to bring it back. And, you know, so far it's been I mean, going we really well. Really do like a win we should do a winter-themed episode if we, like, or a winter-themed live, or, or a winter-themed live stream where just, like, or like, it shouldn't be like a daily live stream, but it should be like more like a uh, countdown, like ten days before. Hmm. And that'd be pretty cool to like ten days with, uh, ten days with uh, us, and then just we all play uh, different games we all have. Yeah. That that would be pretty freaking cool. I'm trying to clear the path here. I really hate it when trees are like four blocks thick. I'm going to replant a lot of the trees though once when the uh, campground is finished. Because I know we had to cut down a lot of them just to make way. Breaking news, Jim. How many trees did uh, Peter and... Uh, yeah, cut down. Well, Stu, it appears they have cut down over a million trees. In turn, they have to plant over a million trees. Thank you, Stu. Approximately... How many blocks have we destroyed in this series? Ooh, that's a good question. Imagine no, somebody you, actually said, calculates... You know what, what? Did you hear what I said at the end of that? Uh, joke is like, thank you, Stu. I want to raise, Bob. Okay. <laughs> oh, I've missed that. I might have cut you <laughs> off when you said that. No, 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 no. I said it, and then you just began speaking. Oh. Sad boy. As soon as you, uh, as soon as like I said, sad boy, just like a sapling fell. <laughs> yeah, I'll move you off to a distance. Jeez, this is like the mother of all trees right here. All right, you're gonna get planted right here because you're very special. Yeah, I should build like a 4x4 layout for it. Just, I feel like I should just build a 4x4 fence. And just call it, uh, and just call it, uh, Nitsu's Street. Cause we have to have a mark on the uh, thing somehow. There we go. Get Not it bad. again. Yo, is that a Yankee with all brim? With all, uh, cap no brim? <laughs> oh. Yo, someone made a meme of that in Doom and it was hilarious. Oh, the gravel keeps falling. Gravity fed, that's why. <laughs> there shouldn't be no gravity. Hey, I don't make the rules. Hang on, I wonder, hold on, is there a cheat for that? Hold on. Is there a for that? Right. Hold on. How does it make sense that this this falls, but yet when I do this, nothing. It's literally floating in the air. But when I do it like this, boom, just falls. Come on now. No material hovers in real life like that, okay? If Mojang was serious about gravity, this block should be on the ground. Yeah, then not to mention if we were to have like a like a four by four hole in the tree, it should fall one and it should fall either left, forward, back, or right. One of those four directions. Oh, 
oi, 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 this is... This is taking a long time. Okay, uh, maybe we should bring it down. Yeah, yeah, just start bringing it down because, holy crap, look at that. Alright, I'll add the slab. Oh. Oh, that's too steep, what the hell? Get out of the way. Not you, the tree. Ah, <laughs> oh, what did I do? Boom. Boom, boom. And that's one of the most randomness, uh, random. Alright, so now we gotta start turning. Yep. Alright, so as I was going, so what I was saying is that, if y'all heard that, then that was, uh, one of the most randomness, uh, random background noises I've ever heard in, in, yeah, heard in my entire life. This moment I'm talking, next moment I hear, I love eggs. <laughs> Comment of the day, I love eggs. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Unfortunately, at this time of the recording, I really don't have an active comment section. That's sad. I don't think I ever have an active comment section. I don't even have. I don't even have one either. And That's why I'm able to get away with a lot of the things that we say on video. Frankly, I'm glad we do. Like uh, bad words, like shit. And you know, fuck and crap. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, you just thought, meanwhile, you all been to rest, guys. Now that's the most narrowest road we've ever built. <laughs> it is what it is. Now, the pain's been doing it, but we have to level this. So we have to uh, this right I don't want to do this. Okay. Oh, I just busted. You busted a taillight! <laughs> but taillight? Why is the taillight the same color as the rest of the camper? Uh, I have no idea. Hey, I don't make... I, I built this for one purpose in mind. To look like, uh, to look like, uh, the Elvis, uh, Presley rip-off, uh, motorhome from Cars 1. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it. I mean, we have, like, that weird hairdo Elvis had. And, but if we look over here, this thing looks like a, uh... This thing looks like a, um, dump truck. I mean, it's like my two motorhomes, uh, my two motorhomes that failed miserably at looking like them. <laughs> oh my, I'm doing horrible right now. It's probably because I'm exhausted, because guys, as you, can, as you can see, we built all of this in one day. No joke, no breaks, me and Jack... Powering through. I mean, I still feel pretty awake, so I can probably do more things if I wanted to, but... I like, my, like my good friend Morgan says, I need some fucking pure fuel. <laughs> I honestly don't blame you. I honestly don't blame you there. Right, the level... I do not want to know what that cow was doing to the tire. <laughs> Let me look over and see a cow just jumping on the tire. Just no, no bueno, no, 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 no. 
Dirty, dirty muscles. And we just have a cow with his head stuck in the motor home. Nothing new here, just, just if we just look. Just... Oh my! <laughs> what? Where did his head go? Oh, I think we can fix that. There we go. You saved his life. <laughs> That's like you're... the only time I can round corners on this thing is just like for metal for your bravery of saving a animal from a near death experience. Yay! I want my money now. <laughs> money, money is the pinnacle of all evil. I know that's true. So instead. Let's let's give you something even more evil. V bucks. Oh, <laughs> v bucks. Jeez, that V bucks makes Epic Games like uh, the same amount of money, even maybe even more than the Federal Reserve gets. You know? Yeah. So Wait, isn't I don't want to. Federal Reserve losing money instead of gaining money. I mean, wow. Uh... I, I thought I thought I thought they make more money. I mean, I don't know what what am I saying? It's twelve o'clock. Yeah, twelve o'clock your time. Well, uh, our time. I'm usually out of it, guys, but I'm powering through this. Yeah, if you yeah. I think you, just... you I think you confused me though because th there was somebody that said yo Fortnite makes more money than the, f the Federal Reserve. So I think I think the Federal Reserve. Hang on, let me, hold on, hold on, let me fact check that real quick, hold on. I might be wrong, and if I'm wrong, hearing, you can call me an what idiot. What y'all are actually hearing was me actually getting up from my chair, grabbing something, and now hitting back. So, live actual foot noises coming from me. Ow, my, my tooth hole. That hurt. And, we gotta... And time for some research. If my laptop would load. There we go. go. Alright. Hopefully I'm right. Because I will look like a really stupid idiot. Alright. Time to search. Over here. Do they gain money or do they lose money? Uh, federal money. The federal. Approximately, they make uh, 100 billion dollars. Um, uh, that's that was in 2016, though. So take that with a grain of salt with 100 billion, but it fluctuates between like it fluctuates between um, uh, between like over 100 billion, somewhere in between that, or just barely anything at all. Now it's time for. So am I right? Yeah, I didn't look up the I didn't make a I didn't look up the Epic Games part. Well, I don't know if there's a, any way of knowing how much money Epic makes from Fortnite, but it's it's within guessing, I guess. You know, I mean, the, if they are, if they're getting collaborations from Marvel and Star Wars and DC, they're probably making uh, last really year, good. Approximately last year. Last year, uh, 2019, Fortnite brought in revenues of 1.8 billion. So in turn, the Federal Reserve does make more money than the uh, than Epic, uh, than Fortnite. So, so my statement was wrong. Ah, stupid Peter. Right, there we go. We are passing. With the very, 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 you know, I mean, I guess you like, could say I wasn't wrong, though. Like, Fortnite does make, um, as much money 
as I don't know. Well, Forget I mean, it. I'm dropping well, it. Yeah, well, what like I said was with the Federal Reserve, uh, their profits fluctuate between like a hundred billion, seventy-five, twenty-five, like between between those. So then again, in some years Fortnite can make more money than the Federal Reserve. Sometimes the Federal Reserve can make more money than Fortnite. It's just a wild card of money and stuff. So. So that's a fair answer. It's a wild card. Both all that techno moment jumbo, I'm pretty sure I just killed everyone by their brains exploding. Including mine. I mean, the fact you weren't dead yet is amazing. I'm kidding. I, I don't know. It's only a joke. <laughs> ah, got the rope. Dry, hurt, I'm tired, I'm angry, I'm, yeah, no, I'm angry. <laughs> Yep, that's pretty much the mood right now. And I don't know. But and the I show must go on. I seriously don't know why this cow is humping the fucking motorhome right now. Why? Please leave it alone. It's the, you've done enough damage to it already. That's a cow. Would you like to become beef? Don't do it. Don't pull a Dominic move. For every time you pump, that is more. That is one more second lost to your life. Mm. He's you giving us. He's 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 saying to kiss his ass. <sighs> okay, I don't usually agree with this, but that cow was pretty disrespectful as fuck. Not only was he making the wheel freaking, just messing up the freaking property, but he was basically telling him, basically telling us to kiss his ass. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm giving him a proper burial. See guys, when you record at midnight like this, can't focus. I'm not one of those people who can focus at night. But I do it for you guys. Almost there guys, almost there with this road. Do you think we should, like, I think we should build a couple of tents, but not go crazy with it, obviously. Just because right, this there episode. We go. Uh, I built the, uh, Here lies a cow who decided to fuck a t uh. <laughs> You spell fuck again, by the way. That's the whole point of the joke! I'm, I'm... That's the whole point of the joke for every for every episode now onward. I mi intentionally misspell the F word. If you guys don't know what he's talking about, he misspelled the uh he misspelled fuck last time in the Islanders versus Rangers episode we did. And that was a legitimately funny moment. And let's not forget about the time you decided to build beanors all around the Islanders logo. I mean, like, Ranger, damn it! God, I really hate uh, right now. Well, yeah, because Dom was disrespecting my team, so I had to disrespect his team. <laughs> that was still was pretty funny. And what's funny, too, is he didn't even notice. Until I decided to make subtle jokes about it. You you were basically given like soft tints about what was going on, and he and, and he was too blind to even see it. Sometimes stuff can go a little too far. I learned it the hard way. What's that supposed to mean? 
Oh, I have no idea. I just, I just pick something random. Oh, this, this wolf. Just, uh, just staying by the friggin' coffin. Uh, tombstone. Oh boy, the road hits the tombstone. Boy. Um. Ah, this cow doesn't need a memorial. He was telling us to kiss his ass. Yeah, I mean, you do have a point. Well, I did give him a. a the reason what why they the? Kept, I was just, the reason why they kept breaking was because this wolf was in the middle of it. Oh. Here, be free. Wow, I can't believe we uh really made this road. Yep. That By the way, guys, this is not a regular out. city world road. This is just the road for the campground. Just to clear the air with that too. Yeah, and then hopefully we can manage to make it like loop around and then reconnect somewhere. I was thinking about making this a dead end, you know. Well, yeah, that is true, but here I'll here I'll add the uh, fences and stuff. All right, look, uh, like safety tape or like, safety stuff, so like you might use in case you have like coffee or something. Then stick that in the middle. That says. Wait, but there's one more camper over here. Hopefully it can. Hopefully it does know how to do off-roading. Fair point. Off-road camper it is. All right now back right. to the sign. So that will be dead end. I'll place some campfires around for each for each camper. Oh, not too close. Not there. I don't want to put it next to the leaf, though. Uh, the tree, my bad. Leaf. See, guys, this is what I mean. If I'm not, like, you know, energized, I start saying gibberish. And I kind of, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how to really describe it, but. There we go. I added the sign. Add to the dead end. Camps. Now I actually I had decided to do an abbreviation for New Heart City because why not? All right, I added some uh, fire pits next to the campers. I saw them on my way back to the main building. All right, so um, you wanna just like build a couple of tents, or should we call it? Yeah, we should build a couple of tents, and then maybe after that we can call it. Yeah. So I guess. Here, I'm gonna pretty, make him. It's pretty easy. Here, I'm gonna build a uh, tent. I knew, I remember I knew how to build, but with like modern amenities and stuff. So hopefully I can remember how I built it. So here we so go. What colors and did I not use? I think, well, actually, uh, we, I can most likely build it. On the mountain to make it look like a uh, small expedition team went up there. Frankly, that's actually not a bad idea. So, thank you. You're welcome, me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, but we need it for the camp. Oh, yeah, that is true. I forgot about that. Um, it's the whole point of this episode. Uh, I, I guess you can. I think I know where to build this. I, I want to build it close, but not too close to the, uh, uh, stink family. Stinkies. Welcome to the stinkies family. Just imagine them being on Family Feud. That's supposed to be hilarious. That's gonna be a five. So let's make it a six, because I'm OCD. Uh, for eight. Um, no, the tent is huge. Then we go from this side all the way. I really hate these four by four trees. I just dropped my wall block. Yay! 
Thank you. Next time, I'm not doing episodes at night like this. Because I really start to just, like, doze off. I'm lazy. <laughs> Yeah, My, uh, I, I understand. Word comprehension is just total ass. AKA my grammar just doesn't. It's not at max capacity. Hmm. I mean, that is true. Unfortunately, I'm not like Ninja. I don't have a freaking cooler on the side of my computer. Full of Red Bull, which I'm jealous about. I mean, like, practically everyone in the gaming community is jealous of Ninja because he has a uh, mini fridge right next to him, so he has access to it whenever he needs it. Bruh, I need that. I need that. If I'm gonna do gaming at night, in like my this, opinion, he's a I lucky bastard. Well, of course. So, I mean, the guy makes. I'm willing to bet pff, lots of money. He probably money. makes more than six figures a year, in my opinion. And he was once like us. Just regular streamers. So I guess uh, fate decides who becomes really, Not really... Who yeah, and who doesn't. And who falls straight back into the... Into the... Uh, into the abyss of nothingness. Hopefully, because right now I'm on the verge of being nothing at all. Well, everybody has a calling in life. Apparently, Ninja's calling is being a uh, entertaining streamer. I added some lanterns to my first tent, so I'm going to make a four. Actually, no, second thought, I'll scrap that. Uh, some can't, uh, some can don't actually have floors, but you need a floor covering. Like a blanket of some sort, which sucks, but. That's my first ever bed. Now, I necessarily didn't build a tent like this, but first house was actually a dirt house, so. First tent I've seen in a YouTube video, so, uh, yeah. Remembering, and made it a bit wider so I can actually have some jumping room and room to store a chest of some sort. I think we're okay with this. Uh, do you think that we made a lot of progress? Yeah, there we go. I even added, uh, even added a red shulker box next to my uh, next to my thing. And yeah, we made a lot of progress. We can call it now. All right, guys. Oh, there's a bunch of leaves just magically floating. See what I mean? Like, gravity doesn't make sense in Minecraft. Okay. Uh, where, do you to, where do you want to end the episode? Back on the thing or? Hmm. Yeah, back where we started, I guess. Uh -huh. Back at the registration. So, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Sorry for uh, if I sound uh, a little unenthusiastic today and just, you know, feeling really dumb, you know. This City World Series is kind of taking a toll on me a little bit, but I'm, you know, pushing through. And, you know, same with the team members. You know, we want to just get the job done. But, uh, yeah. So, um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, peace, guys. I'll just zoom out so that way you, you guys can see the entire campground. This might make a good thumbnail, too. All right. <laughs> all right, peace, guys.